What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey and the house is a disaster. So when we painted this part of the house and this part of the house, we didn't paint the entryway. So we decided we were gonna paint the entryway the same color as the rest of the first floor. So that's why we have all this stuff here. I just got done rolling the paint there. Oh, tripped over some toys. Uh, my wife did all the trim work because she's got this super, super steady hand. Hey guys, do me a favor and go over to Brian's Aquariums. Give him a subscribe real quick. Check out his videos. He does a lot of videos covering a bunch of different topics at the moment. He's got an awesome cube set up. Link is in the description below. Let's take a look at the Red Sea Reefer 250. You might notice there's no frag rack over here anymore. So, torches went on the other side of the hammers. You know, torches, if you don't know, torches and hammers, just they just don't get along. Um, <clears throat> I did glue the scalemia down here. And we got some pieces glued here, here, here. That's where the torches are glued. And this piece and this piece are actually the same. So I'm trying two different places. Uh, the stylo probably doesn't like it right there, getting direct flow. Um, and the tank is super cloudy. I need to clean the glass and blow the diatoms off of this rock right here. <clears throat> but so far, so good. I mean, it's only been there for about eight hours or so. So, you know, we'll just have to see how it goes. And I did use a large amount of glue. I, I like to use the BSI gel glue. And... Um, I ordered it on uh, saltwateraquarium.com because I had some points. So I got two of the BSI, the smaller BSI gel uh, uh, super glue. Um, I got it for like eight bucks and they do free shipping. Whereas on bulk resupply, you got to spend like $25 to get free shipping. So, you know, it is what it is at that point. But the Tunes 6055s that have been upgraded to 6095s have been working great. You can see on the water line, I got a pretty good wave going on. And I mentioned this in the 60, not the, the 6055 upgrade video. So I upgraded the propeller and the cage. And basically that gives me a wide flow. Now, as far as wattage is concerned, I don't get the 6095 wattage because I have the 6055 controller. So it works out perfect for my three foot tank. And, you know, I mean, truth be told, I don't need 6095 power in this tank. I need 6055 power in this tank. On that note, I have a couple of other Tunes products on the way. Since I've had the 6055s, I've really fell in love with the Tunes products. Um, so I'm going to give the Refugium Light a try. And I've always wanted a wave box and I was able to score a 6208 wave box off of Reef Central for a hundred bucks or normally like $300. And so stay tuned later in this video, we'll check out the wave box. It's supposed to be a complete setup, plug and play. I'll probably have to clean it before I put it in the tank just cause that's how I know how used equipment usually goes. I usually clean it before I put it in the tank. So just stay tuned for that. I'm super excited for it. I decided to pull the JCOD DCP 4000 out of the tank to get it cleaned because I really want to change out some of the plumbing. So that's kind of what I'm working on. But look at this. It's like every time I take something apart on here, there's just bristle worm after bristle worm. And these suckers, they're pretty big, man. I, I just I just opened the pump with no gloves on. And as soon as I opened it to get the propeller out, I just dropped it back in here. It's citric acid and water, so they're not gonna survive that but I'm not taking any chances on touching these things. I'm really not having much fun with this. Um, I mean, you know, I don't mind bristle worms for the fact that they're actually a good cleanup crew, but I don't want to be touched by one. I don't want to touch one. So stay tuned for more. <laughs> it's nasty. It's like what nightmares are made of. So excuse the noise that we got going on here, but I did have straight plumbing coming off of the pump. And now I've got a couple 90s with a union here. 
so that I can change direction. And my objective here is to use less of this soft tubing. I did clean it and get the coralline algae out of it. Cleaned the pump, you all saw that it was, I mean, it was nasty. Um, after like nine months of running the tank, no cleaning. But yeah, my objective is to get this little spigot as close to the return spigot and use a minimal amount of soft tubing. So like I said, there's a lot of noise going on here, which isn't abnormal, but I was using this straight pipe and it worked, but there was a pretty good kink in the tubing and I had to use quite a bit of it. So hopefully this will eliminate soft tubing. After seeing all the bristle worms in the return pump section, I'm gonna take a uh, little, um, what's this? Roof girl, little reminder um, or DIY type of bristle worm trap. So I used a stepper bit on the drill, just an old Gatorade bottle and I drilled the holes a little bit too big, but that's fine. I used my go-to BSI ice gel glue and some BRS Insta-Set to set the straws in here. So I'm gonna put a little piece of shrimp in here and throw this in the refugium section because although I like bristle worms to an extent, um, I just want to see if this works. I guess it's just an experiment and I really would like to thin out the herd a little bit. So um, let's throw a piece of shrimp in here, throw it in the tank, see what happens in a day or two. So after a day, it looks like I've caught at least one bristle worm. Um, let me get this light to turn back on. Yep, at least one and one is better than none. So I'm just gonna continue to let it set in here. And again, I got some shrimp in there to entice them maybe. Maybe I should have put some pellets or something in there too, which is super easy to change out if I need to. But yeah, caught one so far. So let's see what this thing does in the long haul. I did get the 6208 Tunes Wave Fox. This is all in every language except for English. So that's useless. So I need to find the manual online. One interesting thing here is it comes with this plug here so it can either shut off or reduce speed at night. So that's kind of cool. And then you also get these jumpers here, which right now the jumper that's in the power supply is a 20 volt jumper. Um, and it comes with 24 volt, 18 volt, 12 volt, 22 volt, and 15 volt. So don't know how much of an impact that's going to make now i'm still learning this pump so i'm probably just going to do a whole video on it but i am running it um just to get a feel for it and see how it works um and i still have no idea how to really tune this thing but it is using a 6055 pump i took it apart it's very easy to take apart one thing that i did notice this is an older version by the way these were mounted to the pump um, like they were in water at some point and apparently tunes older models these are fine to add to water now you have to worry about sometimes getting stuff getting stuck in there and you can see there's some corrosion in there so what i've done is i took the outside magnets that the way that it was shipped to me had a rubber coating over them and i just popped these off of the back of the wave box and i'm going to use these externally um so yeah, I'm, I'm still learning how to run this thing. And I feel like with max power, max power, it should be making a wave, but I'm sure that I have something wrong um, because this thing is suitable for 35 up to 210 gallons. So stay tuned more on the Tunes Wave Box. Just because I don't know of any of the videos that are detailing and going through it. And if there is one, then please let me know. So really the last thing to touch on here is I had email notifications set up for the Radiant Rasp, which I bought one a while back and it didn't work out, and an exquisite Fairy Rasp. And um, I've got email notifications on them on Thursday. I immediately placed my order for Saturday delivery. I already had some store credit with them. So I don't know where the Radiant Rasp is because he is a tiny guy, but this is the Fairy Rasp. 
and I've had the lights off. I'm gonna turn them back off as soon as I get done shooting this video. The flame hawk I just saw going after him just because he's a new inhabitant. And again, the flame hawk just amazes me that he's so much of a, yeah, you know, the word that I was gonna say, but pretty, uh, pretty fish, starting to get some colors. Um, whenever I got them, super, super dull. Um, the first gradient brass that I got a while back came in about the size of these guys. And the new one that I got in is super tiny. So there's no telling where he is hiding out at. Hopefully he is around somewhere. Um, we'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens. Um, you know, I've said it before, but the Radiant Rest is an expert only fish. So at this point it's on me. Um, you know, they do honor a dead on arrival uh, policy, but as far as the 14 day guarantee and all that, you're not going to get that with any expert only fish. But uh, everything's doing pretty good. I tested earlier for nitrate, phosphate, and alkalinity. Um, my phosphate's like, it was like 72 on the phosphorus checker, which is like 0.22. Uh, the nitrate I tested with the high range Red Sea kit, so we are sitting between, uh, we'll say, 7 and 10. So, you know, okay there. Um, and then uh, alkalinity, excuse me, uh, was 9.9, .9, which has been pretty stable for me. So I did have, and I am having some issues with the stylo, which it's not in any direct flow. Um, but I went ahead and did a 10 gallon water change and I've extended my refugium light a little bit to try to bring the phosphates down. So all the other corals are looking pretty good. Um, that one's always been kind of off, but this guy's got some good color to it. The green slimer, which is my, it's the coral that I want to keep the worst, is doing okay. Um, ironically enough, the torches are doing fantastic at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. As always, I appreciate you following along. Check me out on Instagram at Pelfrey's Reef. Check out the website at pelfrey.net. I'll catch you on the next one.